Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard. And ready or not, here I come. I have a plan, and it's a plan I just tried to implement, and it came out sideways. <laughs> like, really sideways. Like, nothing like I had hoped for. So I'm going to start with some white pearl, and I'm going to mix up some dishes of color that I can scoop from. And I'd like it to be mostly red. And I wish I'd cleared that tip out. But I'm going to allow myself to mix the red-orange with it because I think that's going to work for me. I need some other little bits and things, bits of things in there, like black and blue. But I have to be really, really cautious about how much I put in because I really think that it matters if I have a lot of red in there or not. Maybe I can get that tip out of there. Maybe I can't. Yeah, there. Whatever that is. Goodbye. <laughs> cool. All right, so I'm just going to keep adding a little bit more of this and that to this and that. And I've got the Mica, the Mica GAC 800 Floatrol mix. And that's pretty. I like the way that looks. I hope it... I could just take a picture of that <laughs> and I'd be done. I'm going to put some more red in down at the bottom and some more white. See if I can move those things around. This is a nice magenta red. It doesn't really have... I don't have to worry too much about it going pink, I don't think. I didn't mean to rhyme, but it happens all the time. <laughs> I know I'm weird. It's okay. I'm used to me. I think just a little bit more of that. Now, this over here is my dollar store dustpan, and I think I'm probably going to scoop that out, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the other one. But I do have a black canvas, and I do have chain, and I do have more colors should I want them. And I'm going to put a little bit of Prussian blue right in the middle of that black, because I like it. And I'm going to look over there at that dustpan and go, there really is not enough red in there. And there probably isn't enough gold, but I can add the gold after, so I'm not going to worry about that. And right now, I think, whatever my plans were, they sort of left my head. So I'm going to grab those pretty colors off the surface. And just give myself permission to play for a few minutes. And let the shovel rest on the surface of the canvas and release its golden payload. And I'm going to also dip that shovel right in there and provide myself with something that's a mark making potential and let it continue to run out. I think I'm going to be adding a lot more paint to my shovel shortly. Let all of that design right there. Come on out. Don't know what I'm going to get. Liking what I've got so far. I can see some beautiful stuff right there. I'm not sure if I kept it so I could get at it. I'm going to leave that right up to the edge. Let it pull for a second so it'll go right down over. Just use the edge of my shovel that's allowing paint to flow out. Maybe I'll use it as a dragging tool. Maybe I'll just go in and get some of that color that I like the look of right there and add it. I like what I'm seeing, but I want more of that. And I'm probably going to come back in and 
give it some dots at some point, especially with that gold, I'm thinking. I really did want some red today, and now I've kind of got it. I'm going to be over here adding some more of the same paint colors to my pan of color. A little more of that white, which is pretty nice. Do I have enough? I don't know. I want some more of that gold in there, too. That's quite a bit of gold. Move all these out. I've always wanted to try this. Let's see how this works. That's okay. I got a circle. Neat! I don't know if I'd try it again. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be as easy as that the next time. I'm liking everything except for I think I want some pink in there. And I kept, kept myself a dribble bowl. I'm going to keep adding some more colors. I'm sorry you're not seeing that. Sometimes I just dream of getting spectacular. Not sure when that's going to happen, but I'm always willing to accept that it might. Expect good unexpectedly. I grew up with that phrase in my household. Seems like a good idea. I'm pretty sure I could just leave all that right like it is and be pretty happy about it. Um, I have smaller scoops. I have my spatulas, which I'm often dipping into paint to make patterns. Not sure what I'm doing but I'm still having a pretty good time doing it. So that's got to count for something. I'm going to use a spatula to add some drips or dots or whatever you want to call them. those golden dots so much. I'm going to put some up at the top here, which is probably your bottom. I am going to use my spatula like it was, it's very similar in the width to the scoop. I'm not sure that worked as well as I was thinking it might, but I'm not done yet either. much out of paint right there, but that doesn't matter because I've got my other container handy. I love dipping the spatula right into paint and pulling it. It makes me happy and it's fun to do. I recommend it. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> and. On a different planet, I could probably just leave that alone. I'm thinking that I see this container and I have a flat edge. And I'm not sure what's going to run or where it's going to run. But I kind of want to try the flat... Oh, okay. Now I know where that's going to run. <laughs> Maybe I'm not going to try it. Um, what am I going to do? that's what I'm going to do for right now. I'm going to take what's left of my paint in my dustpan. I 
which is very golden, shimmery, and kind of coppery colored right now because of the gold mica powder I'm sure mixing with everything. I want that to go over the side as well. I like the idea of not having to have everybody have to purchase a frame. And I like continuing the idea of continuing on. I'm just touching up the edge where some paint is missing and I have the paint in my spatula so I'm going to use it. Now I'm back. I like this I like this white this white pearl in here and I'm thinking that I'm going to grab a small scoop. until it stops being viable and it made it all the way to that. That's amazing. I'm loving the little <laughs> the little nonsensical patterns and I guess I do, always do pretty much love them anyway. It's like your mind is always searching for what they might actually mean. I'm losing my gold over here. I want that to go down over the edge, maybe. Maybe not. I love it when the paint is thick and you still have the options to, to change your mind about stuff. Yeah, I decided I could have it be over the edge. Bring that gold right down in there. So far, I'm not hating that. I mean, there's a lot of negative space, but it's really pretty cool. I'm pretty happy about that. I see that dot there. Do we want another one? Just using the corner of my scoop. Right over the edge. Just a little here and there. Wow, maybe I'm done. <laughs> I'm not sure how much further I can go and improve on what I've got. I really like what I have. I could just check on my edges and not worry about much else. Yep, just touching up the edges. It's working fine. Yeah, it's simple, but um, it's time to stop. I'm going to just take this last little tiny bit of paint on my shovel and take the torch to what we have. And I got my wish. I got my mostly red and gold. going to release any cells that want to come about. I didn't tip anything, although I could have, and I may do that in a minute with what I've got left on another canvas. I'm releasing any air bubbles, trying not to light anything on fire. i got two minutes left on my clock, and I know there's more than that, so I will tell you. Shop my Teespring link if you wouldn't mind. If you're looking for a t-shirt or something else cool, if you click on any of the items of clothing, you will, of course, be led to a store. Go figure. Um, 
I have this little glue stick and it's no, it's not a glue stick. I need a chime. I had a chime. There's a chime. I actually need to put some, some more of that orange right in there. Where did I want that dot? I wanted that dot right there. Do I want another one? I don't know. It's kind of pushing your luck. All right, don't do it. Anyway, so at the bottom of the video, excuse me, underneath the video, under show more, below the Teespring link, there's an Amazon link. And the first thing on that list now lately is my book um, called Because I Can, which is the first 100 videos on YouTube and descriptions of my processes and my tools and pictures. And that didn't bother me a bit. Just makes me want to do some more. Uh-oh. <laughs> Got such cool things sitting in my shovel, it makes it really hard to not want to do it. But um, I think I should stop myself now as long as I can. I need to put my dustpan in the water bucket and tell you guys that you can also find my Pinterest and my Instagram link underneath the description, underneath the video, where you can also find my paint pouring recipe. And I do sell my artwork, and there are over 380 videos as I speak to you now. So, should you be interested, go check out some more. And please, 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 can I have a thumbs up? Please, please, please. Because I kind of think I work hard and I deserve one. Oh, by the way, thank you for the job. And thank you all for the contributions and the wonderful comments. That didn't hurt my feelings. I could do that all the way around here and it wouldn't hurt my feelings either. Stealing paint never bothered me. And we are pretty well on our way to being done, although I have white pearl in my hand and I see those two little spots that are a bit naked and I think I can blend them in. Fairly well. So one last, one last torch. Do I really need it? Did I do my circle? Yeah, I did. I don't use a, a butane torch because I went through four or five of them and it seemed like a costly endeavor. I do see that I want some gold right there and I'm going to do that right now. I've got my gold. Sometimes I just feel like this is the only kind of painting I should be doing. But I kind of feel like the other stuff is doing all the other things that are like adding to my repertoire. So this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery saying thank you all for stopping. Thank you for 40,000 subscribers. I love you guys. I appreciate your comments. I hope you come again and I'll see you in the next video. Priscilla out. Bye for now.